I like that. Uh, I don't know what you would what would you call how that how those bullets appeared on screen if that was like. Ooh, is a boy. Well, if that would technically that's... be an FMV, technically. No, nah, I think they're just they're just uh, manipulating the background PNG. And they just created like two or three different like images of. Like, oh, just quickly went between. It. Yeah, literally like a GIF. I knew you would be okay. Yeah. Oh, oh boy. <laughs> Both of us at the exact same time. For the rest of the game, whenever you hear this music, you know it's. Nope. Okay. Just me. Why even include that line? It doesn't make any sense. And she's getting out anyway. They're breaking out. <laughs> da, 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 I guess it does explain why she's here. Da, 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 I guess. Squall, you already know this. Irving was about to say this. This prison is a dream. By the way. <laughs> Could you imagine? And honestly, what might be happening, you can see the, the gun effect again. It, it might just be like a, a transparent, like very, uh, just a series of like maybe like five or six images that are transparent, and they're just overlaying it over the uh, background PNG. So cool. Oh, now you have to use Renoa! Or you can't use Ernie. This is all so confusing. Yep. And now I have to junction this, junction this. Dun, 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 dun. My two, three, yes, I'm gonna use a shotgun at long range because I'm Irving. All right, if on floor ten you have a shortcut, yep, that's literally what it does. Okay, so that's a shortcut. Actually, one more. Gotta go the whole way around. Yeah. I never noticed that, uh, because, like, the textures in this, like, remaster, like, the backgrounds are kind of, like, I don't know, it's, like, pixelated, but they, like, try to, like, use, like, a filter on it, but it just looks kind of blurry, so it's really hard to tell some things. <laughs> hmm. Well. The last part's, uh, that one guy that we had to win the Kyrus card for, uh, that was literally in the background as, like, a pixelated PNG. Oh, gosh. It might have looked a lot better on the original version without that filter on it. I have a feeling. Oh, come on. <laughs> uh, am I going up or down? Okay, thank you for just telling me. Wait, so what's... why are they going down? I don't know, I forget. They probably just explained it, but... What? No, my seed rank. How? How did uh, it go down? Uh, every ten cycles it goes down one, regardless. Oh. Uh, the, the main way to, like, raise it is, um... Like, killing enemies, but because we can't do that, it's just gonna go down once every 10 times. Oh boy, I love switching things. Whee! Whoops. Or no. Wistus. Selfie. Okay, who cares? Whoops. Q equals S. Let's do this. What was it in here? Oh yeah, we just go up. The other weird thing, I, I, I tried to say this before, but the remaster doesn't have like analog movement. So when you're using the the analog stick, it's like locked in eight directions like the original like D-pad game. But like the PS1 version had dual shot controls, so I don't really understand that decision. And I don't know if it's, like, specifically just for the Switch version or not. I really don't know. As a boss, this doesn't give you any, uh... I'm gonna try to break the... the one Galbadia soldier. I'm really not sure. 
I kind of remembered that these guys, um... Blasting. Well... Does this, does this kill everyone? It kills everyone. I kind of remember that the, um... The mechanical soldiers, like, burst open and then there's a regular guy inside. That's so cool. <laughs> That's the level 3 limit break. Oh, no, okay. Alright, do we get experience? Nope. No! When, we just got a windmill. Windmills uh, uh, refined the 20 tornadoes, which is a pretty... It's like a mid to late game magic. In fact, I think I you can mug windmills off of a flying enemy around the Galbadia Garden. Um, and I did that off screen. So I think uh, Squall actually has 100 tornadoes junction to attack, which is why he's so strong. I was paying attention again. Yatwa. No! Yatwa! I, I think that's literally Austin. Ah! Based. Based, uh, CIB Austin. Sorry, I should probably pay attention to what they say. Nope, you gotta pay attention to Yatwa. Do I just leave again? Yep. Okay. Why did I go back in? FM, oh, FMVs while you're moving. This looks really good. <laughs> what an elaborate prison. Yeah, it seems really necessary. Like, I understand prisons have their purpose, but like, let's build the craziest thing out in the middle of nowhere. Squall, and, why? And like at this point, we... <laughs> what are you doing, Squall? No! At this point, we've shown that, uh, like the gardens or Galbadia or whatever will like execute people, you know? Yeah. So it's like, all right, if if these people are so bad that they're like, you have to build this contraption. All right, guys, let's let's be let's be honest here. All you have to do is press right. Yeah. Right? I was really concerned the first time because I remember, like, this being, like, stressful. But, like, Squall doesn't, like, get up. You just push up. And then you can keep, like, <laughs> look at it. You can just keep going. So, like, the first time... it I looks like you die. It looks like you die, but it's completely fine. Man, I... Re I that, that brings back memories. Yeah. And you're like, oh, is it... Even the music that starts playing, you're like, oh, is it game over? I guess they're fine. One of my favorite things when comedies do... It, it really only works in comedies, is when, like, someone gets out of an impossible situation, and, they're, and they just kind of reference it, and they're like, I can't believe we got out of the, that impossible situation! Yeah, it was crazy! And then, like, just whatever. Whoa. Like, it's it's awful in an action or an adventure movie, because you're like, wait, how'd they get out of it? But, like, in a comedy, you're like, I can't believe we got back home from space off that asteroid. It's like, yep. It's like, that's fine. Whatever. It's it's a comedy. Who cares? Oh, no. Let's get in the car and go. What's the other garden? Trabia. Trabia. I think. Wow, arrow. No! Alright, so originally when I, in my save files, I sent Renoa to the Galbadian missile base. But I'm gonna take her along to Balam Garden this time because I think there's some like unique scenes if you bring her with you. If you're doing initial level run, I definitely do not recommend bringing um, Renoa because Angelo just can just mess you up, and there's a lot of force fights um, in Balam Garden section. 
And they just sent the missiles to Trivia Garden, it's over. Uh, yeah, probably. Sure. <laughs> Alright, uh, yeah. Let's bring Renoa. And you have to send Selfie to the missile base. Yeah, that's good. I think we do the missile base stuff first. So I'm not gonna mess with my switching quite yet. Uh, I kinda remember man, you guys are separated for a while. Yeah. For a pretty long while. Yeah. Classic JRPG. We gotta split up. Okay. Slower. Yeah, seriously. Yo, times three is fine with that. This is such a cool, like, unique place that they built that I don't think you can get to ever again. It's like, they made these assets, and it's used this one time. I think you, don't you go over here? Yeah. Yeah, this is pretty cool looking. Also, it's glowing green. <laughs> yeah, I don't know what's going on there. Wait, so you drove for like five seconds? <laughs> S stop! Oh my, just give up. It's so weird that they use the Galbadia soldiers as both comic relief, but also the cause of everything that's bad. It's like... That is weird. Yeah, I never really thought about that. Is... At any point in FF7, do they make jokes about any Shinra soldiers? The only person they do is Palmer. Alright, so yeah. Right? Uh, yeah, pretty much. Alright, so we're switching Squall to, I guess, Zell. Okay. Now, uh, we're going to get the Renoa card right now, because we can just go back to Dell and City and challenge Caraway. Um, in my other save file, uh... No, not that. Yeah, 28. My other save file, I had Renoa wrong with me, and it's just like, hey, Dad. <laughs> <laughs> Can we challenge you the triple triad? Do, do, does she mention anything? No. Okay. So this is another specific thing. Um, Caraway literally tells us exactly what to do. But he's like, I don't use my daughter's card ever. Yeah, ask about cards. He says, I have my daughter's card, but I don't use it in my hand very often. However, I will think about it if you give me your Ifrit card. Of course, you need to beat me to get my daughter's card. So what we have to do right now is lose Ifrit to him, and then he'll start using the Renoa card. I mean, at least he puts it very... I'm, su I'm surprised he wasn't just like... Uh, yeah, they could have just made it like super like obscure. Yeah, yeah, that, that would have been worse. But what if he was like, "Will you give me your effort card?" Yes. It's like, okay, great. No. Oh crap. I'm so stupid. <laughs> I gotta remember that the AI is so stupid <laughs> that they just don't understand at all. <laughs> at least I have more uh, junk to give him. My now. face when you you won. He does use absolutely terrible cards. Yeah, these are like level one cards. Uh oh, same. He matched one and one. <laughs> Oh no! Alright, now he's like, I will accept it gratefully. Alright, give me the Renoa card. So, Renoa card is pretty sus because there's double aces on the left and right, so we gotta play around it pretty carefully. 
Mm -hmm. I actually just used it. That's awesome. And he put it in the worst spot. Yeah, literally. Now he's using better cards! I mean, not that much better, but at least it has a 7. Alright, and we get back the Ifra card in Fisherman Horizon. Uh, they do not tug at this at Why? all. Why? <laughs> I love Triple Triad, but it's like you have to have a fact with it. Especially if you're gonna get everything. So, there's five cards you get from the Queen of Cards stuff of losing cards to her. The most specific thing in the world is you have to create the Doom Train card. This is the, the fourth card. And then you have to lose Doom Train back to the Queen of Cards, which is a card that you just created to create the Phoenix card. And it's like, how are you supposed to know? That is ridiculous. I do like in in uh, FF8, the world feels more fleshed out. Um, I've mentioned it before, but in FF7, an entire continent of Wutai has literally just Wutai. Like, that's it. And in replaying FF9, um, like, two of the four continents essentially have nothing. The, the left and the north continent have essentially nothing. Yeah, I, I, honestly, I, I think there's only, like, three major continents, and only one of them is, like, heavily populated. It's pretty much the mist continent. It, when they call it, like, the mist continent, it's, like, you might as well call it, like, the only thing that exists. Yeah. Because in the north, you have the place that Ico's from and Black Mage Village, but they're, like, not even populated. You know what I mean? Yeah. They're, like, a couple Black Mages and whatever. Um... So I, I like in this world how it's like, uh, everywhere you go, there, there's something major. I, I think, I probably said it during Trevor's playthrough of FF7 Remake, but if I had one thing I could go back and be like, in the original FF7, please do more of, it would be the Wutai stuff. Uh, I mean, you, you legitimately do not have to go to Wutai. You never have to go to that continent one time. And that is the only thing on that continent. Especially since they mentioned story-wise that there was like a big Wutai... Uh, war and everything, it was really a shame that it just kind of existed. Oh, I, no! It really doesn't matter. I want to see them tiptoeing like in like a Scooby-Doo, you know what I mean? Where you take those like big, tiny, da 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 huh, Walking in a single file. <laughs> That's very good manners. Yes, sir. It's so weird, like, we're in the missile base to prevent garden genocide, but they're treating the troops like bumbling idiots. I guess, like, Star Wars kind of does that with the stormtroopers being stupid. Oh, yeah. So maybe that's what they're trying to do. Because, obviously, the grunts in any so um, army aren't going to be, like, the most battle-trained, loyal people ever. Well, and they're also not, like, they, they just do what they're told. Yeah. I know that me even saying that brings up, like, a whole bunch of, uh, philosophical questions, like, oh, in a war, if you just do what you're told and you do war crimes, whatever, but it's like, eh, no, nobody, in most other things, nobody ever, like, makes war stuff and they're like, oh, the privates were just bumbling buffoons. Excuse me, sir. Well, what is it? Uh... Right? Oh, yeah, okay, good. So there's a hidden draw point for full life here. Wow! <laughs> uh, I mean, even four full lives at this point is pretty dang Four good. life is honestly probably the second best magic in the game, just behind Ultima. And it's just so odd because, like, this is another place that you can never get back into, ever. But if we had the Siren ability, the uh, Move Find uh, thing equipped, then we can see it, so... It's not, like, that obscure. Alright, uh, we go back to the guy that 
made, well, not made fun of us, but talked about us being the single file. Now we can get into that room. Because basically what we're doing is like, hey, we'll relieve your responsibilities because we're lazy. You go do it. Oh yeah. Yeah, I'll just hit whatever. That usually works. Launched all missiles at all major cities. Detonating nuclear bomb right on top of us. <laughs> I just can't believe we got into the power room within two minutes of us getting to here. I guess you would have to do it just right. Yeah. Alright, so there's a couple encounters that we can get away from if we just say the right things, which is pretty cool. Ba -da -ba -da -da -da. Uh, can you actually just fight? Yeah. You can just fight everyone if you want. They're maintenance guys. They're like, I, I guess they would also be trained a little bit in combat, yeah, but. They have to be. Man, that trumpet with immune on is going hard. Yeah, that. And I guess that would be just a. I guess a guitar to. Yeah. Some sort of red, red hot on. chili peppers is uh made a good song here. <laughs> yeah. Fight all the way. Man, I love matching buttons for- I'm the guy on the bottom, by the way. <laughs> Go! Push! Yep, keep, keep doing it! Every construction crew ever. <laughs> you have one guy doing everything and five guys being like, Alright, we're supervising this. Dude, I, I, like, I will say, it's not a job I would, I could do. Just being outside in the middle of summer would just absolutely kill me. I played, I played football today from like, 10 a.m. to noon. And I'm still, like, sweating. Oh, me. and it's not even, like, that hot thing, man. Yeah. So, like, in the middle of the day in, in July is, like, crazy, right? But, like, I will say, at, like, the memes of that, every time I drive past, I'm, like, I mentally am, like, how many people are working and how many people are, like, supervising? And it's always, like, two to one supervise. And I understand they gotta take breaks and all that kind of stuff, but it's always so funny. It's, like, seven people, crew, two people working. It's, like, what? The road right outside my house has been uh, closed down for the past, I don't know, three weeks. Like, off and on, like, one, one, uh, there's a four-way intersection near where I live, and two of the intersections have been closed down, like, on, like, different weeks. And that's, like, by far the quickest way to work, so it's been a little annoying. Yeah. They, like, closed, like, both the road to Main Street and the one-way bridge at the same time. It's like, thanks. Yeah. Thanks. I will say, I've never seen um, construction like they are currently doing, because generally from like 8am to 5pm it's closed down, but then they're able to open it back up at the end of the day. And I just think that's, I've never seen that before. Usually when a, when a, when a road is shut down, it's just shut down. But for some reason they're able to do it where every day at the end of the day they're like, alright, close it back up. Open it up and it's good. Like, I would just be like, what? No. Just leave it closed. So this is the stupidest uh, control panel ever. You can set the error ratio to like 75%. It's like, wh <laughs> what does that even mean? It's like set error ratio, sure. That's convenient. Do you want it to die? That's all we have to do. Just set the error ratio and um, upload the data. 
Alright, so the next fight is a fight that is really baffling. Um, Alright, so I'm gonna junction to magic. So she has the most magic possible. Um, I think she also might have... Yeah, she has magic though. Alright, so we have 70 magic, which is really high for level 8. Um, but you'll see for this next fight, I cannot break these guys, no matter what I do. Thanks. <laughs> I remember you talked about this one, like, very early on in yeah. the playthrough. This is a fight that I just cannot figure out. There's there's a couple human encounters where you just cannot break the enemies, and I don't understand why. So you're going to have to get experience? Yeah. Huh. I just don't know what to do about it. You can't card them because they're humans, and break doesn't work. And I'm trying the method of, like, having the highest possible magic because, like, maybe... Um, his, like, the enemy's spirit is high enough that it's just blocking, uh, break 100% of the time. Does break, uh, be affected by HP? I don't think so. I also tried stuff like, I think I have Reflect on, I'll try it here again, but sometimes, like, FF games have, like, when you reflect off something, it, like, boosts the power of the magic, and I tried that, it didn't work. I like how this is a battle, but it's just grunts. Or, I'm sorry, a boss battle. Yeah, and you, you'd think that, um... And you think with the boss music you wouldn't get experience, but this fight does give experience. Yeah. It's just like, I, I just don't understand why I can't break these guys. Alright, let's try... Do I not have reflect? I thought I did. Oh, you get reflect from Biggs and Wedge. That's why I don't have it. Okay. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> it has nothing. So I'll just, I'll just do this a couple times, but like, it just never works. Ever. So, as you can see, it just, it doesn't work, and I don't know why. And this isn't enough to give you a level? No. So, there's a couple forced encounters, again, uh, when we're doing the, the Laguna, the final Laguna flashback. Um, there's a couple force fights there where, again, you can't break the Esther soldiers. And that was actually a mechanic last part when we were in the flashback, when I couldn't do it either. But those fights didn't give an experience, but the ones you have to do again, Laguna, and you can't break the enemies, it's like, here's your forced experience. I like the idea of Irving somehow doing mug. Like, <laughs> With standing there, boom! Stolen. Okay, yep. Makes sense. Like, without even, like, Zell's makes sense, you punch him and you mug at the same time, but Irving's is like, Phew! Stole a tent. Yep, makes sense. So there might honestly be a way to get past that. I didn't look up like a guide or anything because, like, in in retrospect, it's literally just like 300 experience. Like, it's not enough to level up or even close. But it's just more annoying than anything. Uh, it is actually, interesting that in the entire game, there's only a couple that make you do it. Kind of bizarre. It is just really weird. Oops. I'm using Irving's, uh... Yeah. Let's break. It's less annoying than Duel. Oh, yeah. Hey, 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 where are you going? Beep, beep, beep. Or... Clack, 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 clack. I'm in. <laughs> My favorite. It's like Boris from uh, 007 Golden Eye. <laughs> I'm in. 
I'm invincible! <laughs> I'm in. Also. Wow. I like when a character says, I am invincible, and then dies like one second later. <laughs> That's my favorite. Oh man, I forgot. Uh, so when you're um, when you're setting up your party for the Blum uh, stuff, you should take Zell with you. Aww. Uh, man, that sucks. Um, Why? There's there's a girl who has a crush on Zell. This sounds stupid, but there's literally a girl in Blum Garden that has a crush on Zell, and if you bring Zell with you, you get a Mega Phoenix from her, which is just an insane item. Wow. Uh, so definitely when you are uh, doing the Blom stuff, definitely bring Zell with you. I just I even have it written in my notes, but I just didn't read it. See ya. She did like a self-destruct, right? Yeah. So everyone's just leaving. Do uh Do you think Amy Amy uh, how do I put this? Any military or power plant or whatever has any sort of self-destruct thing. Is there any reason? Like, I could possibly see, like, in the in the case of, like, getting invaded by a country, and then they, like, take over your military base, that maybe you want to self-destruct it so, like, they can't benefit from it, but it is really stupid. I can it's understand, such a yeah, thing. I can understand, like, uh, it's, it's done in movies a lot where it's like, shred everything, break all the laptops, whatever, but, like, a whole thing self-destruct. It's like, mm -hmm. no, no, no. I could see it, but that would require, like, ten levels of authorization. BG Paul oh, Samo, yeah, let's do it. BGH two one two five something something. Oh my God, Paul Samo is so. Oh, he's literally already dead. <laughs> Good boss. I mean, Paul Samo is literally uh, early apex ammo. It's <laughs> you're not supposed to have it this early. Let's the, just get out the of here. The only way you can get Paul Samo's uh, refining energy crystals. I can't control it. What? Oh, did those guys, like, canonically yeah. die? Oh, no, 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 they're out here, you fight them. Where are they? Oh, okay. Okay, well, that's good. Again. Comedy. That piece of crap. And now you're able to... Break them? I don't even know if these guys give experience, but you can break these guys. So there's just no consistency at all. Yeah, it's I don't I don't understand that that fight. It's so frustrating. Do you think they honestly just made a mistake? It, maybe. I mean, clearly when they were making this game, they were not expecting people to literally do initial level because there's so much crap you but have to do. But don't you get a uh, a trophy or whatever? Yeah, in in the remasters, once the, like the developers like found out that like. Yeah, you can do initial level if you want. I guess my question is, why didn't they change? Why didn't they fix it then? For the... This remaster seems... I'm not going to call it lazy, but I don't think they really wanted to mess with like almost anything. Sugar's also mad. Sugar is very mad. I assume the dog of our next door neighbor is outside. Sugar does not bark at anything except for this one dog. Yeah. She hates the dog so much. But that that dog that Sugar's barking at also barked at me when I was outside once. So I hate it too. Hazel, no! Yeah, every single person... They're dead. Every single person has at least a dog, and most people have two dogs around here. And Sugar does not mind any of them except for one. 
I do not know why. Can dogs just instinctively hate other dogs? <laughs> I guess so. 